Greetings once again, my friends, and welcome back to Drax 12 Days of Anime Characters. And today we've got a bit of a treat, as at least three of the characters that I'm going to be mentioning are villains. And so I figure that we'll probably, every four, just drop a villain and let you guys see what you think of it. And today, we're going to be talking about Naraku from Inuyasha. Now, Naraku is technically one of my favorite ever villains to be able to see on paper. And by that, I mean more the archetype, not necessarily the character. I have always loved the subtle manipulator when it comes to villains. The kind-hearted looking individual that is just playing a chess game in their heads and is figuring out how best they can take out your legs, they can take out your arms, they can rip out your heart. And that's exactly what Naraku tries to do throughout the entirety of the series. Yes, it kind of gets old after a while, especially the fact that he always loves to go back to the whole Inuyasha Kagome angle, but it's still just so dastardly and it's still so villainous every single time he does it. He always finds that one tiny little twist, just to twist the knife that much more and make it just that much more powerful in what he's doing. Now, unfortunately, a lot of his power as a villain is lost, especially when it comes to the final act, where ultimately his final form is pretty much all you ever see him in. He's no longer constantly evolving, and you just kind of have to deal with that form bottom line. But one of the things that made Naraku such a cool character is the seasons leading up to it. He was always evolving. He was always adapting and coming up with new strategies, all while under that horrid baboon mask. I've always loved that cloak that Naraku wore for the first couple of seasons, and it just helped to evoke mystery as well as be able to evoke menace out of you, uh, especially in his dealings with all of his incarnations and especially whenever he dealt with uh, any of the main characters, namely Kikyo, Inuyasha, Meroku. It was very clear that he was going to win, whether, he, whether you liked it or not, and it didn't matter if you were ready to go and ready to pull him into a wind tunnel because he'd already thought 10 steps ahead of you. And this time, he was going to make it hurt. And that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll be back tomorrow for the next one.